joined now by Larry Moreland, the son of Larry Moreland, the so-called father of modern boxing in Toledo. And Larry, first off, thank you for joining us this evening. And your dad, his legacy in the city of Toledo is really still being felt as we see this renaissance of boxing in the Glass City. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, you say dad really started things, especially for uh, Golden Gloves is where things really started. But dad started boxing at a young age, like 12 or 13 and he fought amateur and professional till he was like 30 years old and from there he went on to training boxers. And he trained some of the best boxers that have come out of Toledo. Yes, uh, he had some of the first national Golden Glove winners. He also gets credit by uh, Wilbur Skeeter McClure mm -hmm. who many folks remember came back from Italy in 1960 with the gold medal as an Olympic champion. And, and he started, even Wilbur started at Local 9, and then Wilbur, if you read his biography, Wilbur said he read in the paper where Larry Nell's gym had three national Golden Glove champions. And he thought, well, if Larry Nell's has three champions, that means the rest of the country has to share the other five. <laughs> so I'm going to Larry Nell's. And that's where he went, and that's where he learned to box. And your father's love of boxing, he passed it along to so many different fighters, and it truly was a labor of love for him because he was doing a lot of other things, but he always was finding time to train boxers. Oh, my God, yes. Uh, Dad, Dad's work schedule was just rigorous. It's a wonder he had any time at all for boxing because not only he was raising, he had a wife and three kids. Uh, he worked in a factory, Dollar Jarvis. Then after work, he would go and he would spend four or five hours in the gym and from there he would go to a nightclub named the Savoy where he was the bartender <laughs> then after the bar would close he was the custodian of there he would uh, fill in the coolers uh, mop the place out and sweep it out clean the bathrooms empty the trash and from there he would go to another bar called the showboat bar on uh, Arlington he was the custodian there. He would do the same thing all over again. And then on his way home, he stopped at a restaurant called Heine's Fish and Chips. <laughs> and he was a custodian there. And he would sweep that place out and clean it up. And he might get home to get an hour of sleep and then start his day all over again. And he did that for a good 10 or 12 years. What do you think your dad would think of the success we've seen in the last couple of years of Toledo boxers, the Robert Easters, the Albert Bells winning titles? Well, he's so, uh, he would be so proud because for a long time here in Toledo, boxers didn't have the commitment that they had back when he was there. You know, boxers is a solo sport. It's a lonely sport, and you have to do everything on your own once that bell rings, and so much of the training is on your own. You have to do your word, road work basically by yourself. You have to work out on the bags basically by yourself, and that takes a lot of dedication and commitment, and he hadn't seen that in years. I think that's one of the reasons that he might have gotten out of it, because the boxers didn't have that commitment, but the boxers that we're having now this renaissance it shows they have the commitment to do that what does this honor mean for you and your family we are overwhelmed and all i mean we're all struck because uh dad would be so overwhelmed he would be so pleased he would be proud he would try and name everybody that came through the gym and he would thank them for all the things they've done we owe a special debt of gratitude to robert smith of the african-american legacy project uh, he would single out some people like Glenn Stubblefield, who was one of his boxers. And Glenn, after the gym closed, Glenn organized a banquet he called the main event, and all the boxers and trainers and everything came back to this uh, banquet. And this is the thing about Glenn. Glenn passed on in November of last year. And he kind of reached from the grave to give Dad one more pat on the back because in his obituary, he named Larry and Al's gym and how significant it was. And he thanked Dad for the training that he got. So that was kind of special. I don't know how you could get a better tribute than somebody reaching from the beyond to give you one more pat on the back. Well, thank you very much, Larry Moreland, the son of the now Toledo African-American Legacy Hall of Fame member, Larry Moreland who made an impact on boxing throughout the generations here in the Glass City.